World War II. In an age where the motor car could barely break 50 miles an hour, nations like Germany were developing things like the King Tiger. And technology didn't end there either. This is the age where the planet first saw the Jet Fighter. All the while the Axis and Allies developed these marvellous machines, one neutral country decided to make these. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today it's time to play another Swedish clown car and a clown plane too. This here is the T18B57 and as the name implies, yes, it has a 57mm cannon in its belly with a really strange ammo selection. Thank you Sweden. This plane gets access to ground target belts but there's three different kinds that two of them have the same kind of icon. So I'm not sure how much of them are APHE, which is very good by the way, but the AP one is absolutely rubbish. I think it's 3 AP and 1 APT and then 1 APHET. That's pretty much how she goes. Why? I don't know. It's probably because Gaijin hates minor nations and when it comes to hating minor nations, this thing, I absolutely detest it. Now first off, everyone will look at the gun and go, wow, it's a big old 75mm. Uh, that has 162 millimeters of pen but at the same time this gun is one of the most difficult to control cannons in the game because it's based off of a reserve tier vehicle and it's built like a bobblehead it has one of the worst gun handling capabilities in war thunder and if you miss you can get machine guns to death by pretty much anyone not only is the small shield here absolutely garbage your gunner's heads right here so, you're not very survivable at all, you've got our long reload, this is with an expert crew by the way, I think it goes up to 13 seconds, that's a long time for 4.0, for a tank destroyer that only has one other vehicle you can bring out as a backup. Don't even tell me you can bring out this thing, because this is even worse. Now despite all this, I still managed to do well in it, but that doesn't mean it's a good tank, it just means that I'm facing Weekend Warrior War Thunder players. An interesting theme today, uh, T18B57. This is the focus. We're going to take this out into ground RB. We've got eight rockets. They all fire individually and four bomb drops. They drop uh, two at a time. Pretty cool plane. A very high BR for ground RB, I would say. This thing costs double that of a fighter with ordnance and is very easy to take down. It's massive. It's pretty fast at altitude, but when it gets towards the ground, it just turns to a massive whale. It's very difficult to control, difficult to get guns on. Imagine a duck with some extra power. This is basically what you got. Only the cannon's not as good and it's more difficult to get your nose on. Let's go into battle. I had some amazing games in this thing and some very tragic ones too. Let's get into battle. Okay, we're defending Sweden and I fill up here. It's coded against Germany and Russia. I really wish Sweden built a real tank instead of a clown car, which they were doing like for quite a number of years. 103. But is, is there any other weirdo mobiles after that too? Probably not. The Swedish vehicles only get good when they're British and German. That's a fact. I can't wait to hear all the 103 simps. The design was ahead of its time. Yeah, that's why everyone's got one, right? It's cool because it's weird. <laughs> it's not cool because it was good. I heard something to my right very briefly KB1's getting shot now not anymore well he's got shot by me and then it's over there's a Panzer 4H coming down the same street maybe what is that tank destroyer they're fighting that man tried to make a move that it was a stug. Right, we we have enough spawn points now, even though it's red, and tells us we don't. There was a guy to my right. He just was very quiet. Oh. 
That's a very sad mobile. Found our Panzer 4H, right? Right, good. Um, I'm happy with the number of kills. I'm not happy that there's enemy aircraft up. So we'll continue our journey this way for the time being. Good that guy wasn't paying attention. And there's another stud coming this way, right? Did he see me? Drive up the grass, right? You going up that hill or no? No. I don't know where he's gone. I can only imagine he's coming out here. Yeah, he is. Okay, dokie. Our timing has been good so far. Why you did machine gun me to begin with? Right. Um, I need to get the A cap. I'm, I'm still in our spawn. Horizontal drives are in this guy and his gunner. Yeah, you, you hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, there we go. Let's get in our B18. We got C. I, I don't know why we got seven kills, but we got seven kills. I'm actually perplexed that that tank destroyer we hit, we only took out two crew members in it with this cannon, right? Oh dear. This thing is giga laggy, dude. Like, giga, giga laggy. I don't know why. That's going wildly off the one direction. Okay. Oh, there's three guys here. One is a flak bus. Was it right rocket now, right? Pretty sure. Uh, this one. Pop. Wait, the whole rail came off the ro with the rocket. Right, we got a BTR shooting at our teammates, and our team needs help with this T34 that's here. And then, okay, the BTR's firing at me. Doesn't have much ammo though. I can't... I can't bomb this guy because he's too close to the Breda. We'll take a fire. We're going to have to... skim the buildings here because that BTR... Oh, hey. Yeah. Okay, we got him. Here, another plane. Another plane I don't see. Oh, he's here. It's an IL-2. Okay, good. Great run so far. Get a nice soft landing. I wonder if they'd been back to their airfield and were coming back, because I never saw them spawn in. Wait, roger that anyway. What what was firing my teammate? Oh, I see him. Oh, it's the... Uh, 15mm thing of death. Oh, that went so far down. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we're alive, we're alive. I've got no rockets left, just bombs, and the BTR's firing at me now. Get below building level. We've still got cannons left as well. That Chaffee hasn't even made an attempt to get to that A cap. Oh, they're on C. It's a T 34. Be really precise with our bombs, right? There we go. Those should be good. And there are, there's no there's no delay on those so nope those are bad <laughs> right okay there's two of them on there the Panzer four oh there's three there are three and now they've got A as well just stirring a meal the guy's actually fighting the guy on the cap now at least. Okay, got that guy's turret out. A KV-1 chasing our Chaffee. Oi, you got him. Right, you got on the cap, dude, and we need you on the cap. We're losing. <laughs> it's a T-34. I'm 
Okay, good. I gotta spam fire this then. More than anything else. I'm trying to guide my teammates towards B. There's a plane coming. Big one. Oh, it was an SU-57 that we crit earlier that we didn't kill. And there's a Stug here as well. That Panzer IV is also moving with his teammate. They really want to get the C cap, don't they? My teammates, I mean. Good stuff. A T-34 just killed a Cromwell. Why can't you cap that point? Oh. He just died to someone. I think our cast run has been excellent so far. But, you know, it's just... Sometimes you get games like this where you're... Teammates can't really do much. It happens. He was here, right? Swing ourselves back around this way. Yeah, we got hits on him, we didn't kill him. Another Panzer IV here. Good. And our Spitfire has dealt with a big guy. We got eight rounds left. This has been a really good run, but everything is dead. Oh no, including me. Well, both my engines are orange because I've just been sitting a little too far there, bud. <laughs> you want to shoot me down? But I hope so. Ah, oh, we got that guy just as the game ended. GG, 15 kills. We'll take that, then. Take it. Right, we got No Fun City at 5.0. Let's go. Oh, please, someone go out this way with me. Anybody. No, everyone's just gone to the meat grinder. We've got a 105 at 5.0. This is a good start. Actually, it's 5.3. There's two challengers on our team. And I think they spawned the other side. Maybe we've made it out here, but we might get a silent T-34 or something to creep up on us. Nobody is here. Oh, just kidding, there's a stug. Yeah, my hull and not my turret. I'd like to cross here as quick as I can. We are marked on the map though. Like after that stug shot us. So any half competent player is gonna know where we are. Not that guy though. Take this scary our gun guy out first, right? I think there's a guy to my right. I cannot confirm though. That's nice. Thank you, World Under. Hello, Ezra. I might thought I did. He, he whiffed it. Thanks for that easy shot on you. This KV, unfortunately, knows where I am, but can't quite pinpoint exactly where the shot came from. Okay. I do need to get around this corner though. That was lucky. I did him somewhere thick enough that would shrapnel. <laughs> and uh, a stabilized little uh, reserve tank got me. Right, let's go, there is plane time. Well, okay. We just lost a very good fighter to the ground. We got a Hellcat, a Hurricane, and a P-47. The Hellcat's ignoring the fire. As is the P-47 and the Hurricane. So, I'm gonna be left to deal with the fire, right? Right. The Hellcat's returning to base. I can't see this guy over water because I'm colorblind. Another plane spawned in. I wish did. I wish fighters would concentrate more on aircraft. I hate being self-aware as a human being. 
it makes everything painful to watch. A couple of anti airs grouped up together. It looks like he's just going to stay in one spot. This, uh, this fucker will kill my teammate, but... Why, why head-ons? What a waste of a spawn. Look at an SPA that moves. Or not? And we got another guy coming in too. This bomb should get that guy. Fingers crossed. Yep. I dropped bombs preemptively, thinking he was gonna move, but he didn't. I'm not taking a head on with a fighter. I'm just not doing it. Everyone just like aims at the target and just pulls the trigger. It's so weird to watch. <laughs> People just throw their planes away. And I, I can't do anything but. No, he's flying away. I see the guy on the cap. Kinda. It's a tiger. Right. I think that fucker was going to make it back. I can only hope. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I don't know how accurate these rockets are, but I think it's going to be our only hope. Oh yeah, I see him. The M6 is also on this guy. Is this a KV-1 or what? Panzer 380's just died. Now there's a verbal wind up. There's a KV-1, I think. Oh, it's a T-34. Wait. I've got him on fire and hit his transmission out. Let's kill our engines then a wee bit. Hellcat's doing a stilling job of Bouncing rounds off of them, dude. If you if you're in a, a vehicle that's got 50 cals, you have to go straight down on top, <laughs> right? I know a lot of people are going to say, "Oh, but I'm marking them," but you're also giving them spawn points. And you don't want to be giving the enemy spawn points. You're wasting your ammo. That's looking good. Perfect. It comes on our plane though. It's a biplane now. Head on a biplane. Hey, he's got the right idea though. Look at him go. Hey, right, chase me so I can shoot you down with my back gunner. By proxy. Hopefully. Needs to be one tap on this guy. Still getting his guns on target with one wing. Right. Down he goes. What else was firing at me? Another T-34. I think that fucker wolf made it back, by the way. More 50 cal meme from this guy. Good. Nice APHE shot. A flag panzer. Okay, so I hit that guy and turned him red. That's awesome. That's exactly what you want to see, right? And the Hellcat doesn't shoot the thing that he can kill. <laughs> Absolutely bizarre. I'm going to run away from this airplane. Hopefully this Corsair will try and do something about him. Did I just lose the Hellcat? No, the Hellcat... The Hellcat is still strafing mediums. Oh, 
Oh crap, oh, no, I'm not sure about a crit. Probably is water or something. Can I get help? Oh god, I died to the fucker wolf that respawned. Right, back up we go. We're getting ACAP back. It's just like, I'm still, it's a rolling lesson on how not to play. It cost so many spawn points to bring our plane in. Okay, we got away with that, kinda. I was not expecting that guy to come this way. Hopefully he burns out before he can get guns back on me. He's gonna die eventually. The G50's dead. Come on, big papa. It's time for you to die. Right, I just seen a small narrow thing on the A cap, which I've lost now, and that flag pans are still up. There's a Panzer IV in their spawn, and there's another guy on A, and a Warble Wind. I got hit pretty hard there with something. And is this guy still behind this building? Oh, he's... Oh, he is. Right. That was a decent run. I didn't see the Wirble win. We got 10 kills out of that, which is... I mean, that's a cast run, right? That's worth your spawn points. Let's take another. Let's take another, dude. Let's go. Got that Wirble win to worry about. We're an extremely large target. Quite easy for a Wirble win to hit. I can maybe hedge bets on this Wirble staying in the one spot. I see a flag truck driving round behind this apartment building. I can maybe preemptively snag him, but I think he's stopped. Oh, he's there. It's a little bit too. Can you see the Wirble wind again? Ah, almost. Almost, dude. It's a glory shot that if it was hitting. But what I might do is wait till his Wirble's dead. Because I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. The Wirble's scouted. No, he's not. Is he firing at me? Right, I've, I've crit quite a lot of things in that little square. My rockets hit the fence in front of him. One of the flag buses is dead. Maybe I can long ball him with a 57, right? The Wirble is angry shooting at a tank now. Stop that guy annoying my teammate. Yeah, yeah, I know Wirble, I know. I know that... You need to die for my team to survive. He knocked my tail control out, but not a not a big deal. I'm fine with this. Just don't want to laugh. I flying about the late stages of the game. There's another SPA up here. I still have uh, flaps to control. This has been diabolical. <laughs> a real struggle, but here we are. We made it in the end. Mm hmm You can do it. GG. So I wanted to keep that last game in pretty much all its entirety, but yeah, I think a lot of people just throw away their planes. Bear in mind they cost like 500 to 1000 spawn points to bring in. That's 3 to 6 tanks worth of plane that you spawn in. You have to do really well in a vehicle like this. The B-18B is really not a good cast plane. It's heavy, it's very easy to shoot down despite it sometimes surviving fires and stuff like that. But it can't do the damage quickly like another cast plane could do. Just like a, I don't know, just something with 50 cals is more than enough. 
And if you're using 50 cals, stop shooting medium tanks from a 45 degree angle. Come down on top or deal with things that you can do or deal with the fighters that are attacking the taggers that can actually kill the enemy tanks. That's how you win games. That's how you gain research points. Winning. That's how you get silver lions. Winning. Focus your game on winning and picking the right chess piece for the right job. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'm putting a video every single day in May. We're almost halfway through now and we've got another 15 days to go. And a quick one before I go. My internet right now is down. Uh, so I would like to thank everyone on Patreon and Discord and Twitch for supporting me. And I mean literally everyone. For anyone who gives like a dollar, uh, to all, there's actually someone who gives like a hundred bucks on Patreon a month. Uh, thank you guys very much. You guys keep me going. Uh, you basically have kept me alive this month. Uh, as well as the, the Raid Shadow Legends sponsor thing that I had to take. Uh, so I appreciate uh, all you guys. Th thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I really, really, really appreciate it. Anyway, I'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, I'm going a little run in my car up north. I'll be back, make a video and head to bed. I'll take some photographs and videos, I think, from the run. Should be pretty cool. I'm going to drive with some supercars and stuff. It's going to be sick. Anyway, catch you tomorrow. As always, thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.